Hey, it's the pleb. In this video, we're going to talk about Justin Trudeau's learning disability and whether it's the reason that Canada is so badly broken right now. But first, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, uh, thumbs up and liking and, and commenting. Man, five days into my YouTube journey, I did not think I would have almost 4,000 subscribers and videos that are hitting 60,000, 25,000 views. Insane. Another thing, I didn't even expect to be monetized this fast, but I already qualified for monetization five days into YouTube. Wild. I cannot wait for 2023. This is only the beginning. Thank you for tuning in. And before we start the video, as usual, this video has been brought to you by Crickets in a Bag. Do you believe in climate change? Do you think that eating bugs is gonna fix it? Well, if you're dumb enough to say yes to those two things, do I have the product for you? Crickets. Yum. Dry, delicious, sustainable. Eat this and tell all your friends how good of a person you are. Crickets. Okay, let's get to today's video. So, Justin Trudeau, as many of you don't know, actually has a learning disability. Not many people know this, but if you follow me on Twitter, you know this. I'm going to play a video from Justin, I think it was this year or last year where he talks about monetary policy. And we're going to kind of break this down together, okay? And we'll, we'll try to endure this. There's going to be a lot of Justin Trudeau in this video. So if you don't like Justin Trudeau, just tune out now because you might vomit. So here is Justin Trudeau on monetary policy. I don't know. When I think about the biggest, most important economic policy this government, if re-elected, would move forward, you'll forgive me if I don't think about monetary policy. Yeah, you don't think about monetary policy because you are a rich, spoiled kid who comes from a legacy family. You've never had to pay for things. You never had to save for anything. You don't think about monetary policy. Or is it because you literally can't count? Is it because you literally cannot do grade two math? Let's roll this clip and let's figure this out together here. There's Justin Trudeau on his learning disability. Tell me. I have a little confession to make. I have a slight learning disability. I am dysnumeric. What that means is I have an inability to handle small numbers and little calculations, those easy things that people do so well. 13 plus 14. Seven. Under pressure, it's even worse. So I mean, if I pick up numbers and try to do it, Two plus three minus one times two minus four plus two. How many people followed that? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not making fun of learning. It's just, I'm laughing that Canada is completely making sense right now. Everything in Canada is making sense. After you watch that clip, it all makes sense. It all makes sense like let's watch it again we'll break it down together let's watch it one more time <laughs> i have a little confession to make i have a slight learning disability i have a slight learning disability this does not surprise us we see the way you're running canada learning disability is the least like the least surprising thing justin i am dysnumeric dysnumeric i don't know what that what is what that means is i have an inability to handle small numbers and little calculations, those easy things that people do so well. Little numbers. Is this the reason our budget is absolutely destroyed right now? Is this why we have record levels of debt and nothing to show for it? Is this why, Justin? Because that involves numbers. 13 plus 14. You cannot even add 13 and 14 together and you are leading a G7 country. Is this an absolute joke? Uh, under pressure, it's even worse. So, I mean, if I pick up under pressure, you feel in that pressure. Thirteen plus fourteen. I get you ninety nine point nine 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 nine. Probably a hundred percent of my followers or my subscribers here can probably do that at the snap of a finger. But this is hard for Justin. Special, special ed, Justin. Number and try to do it. Two plus three minus one times two minus four plus two. How many people followed that? I followed that. 
I followed that. It's actually zero. That wasn't that hard, Justin. So yes, this is the reason our country is absolutely screwed. Our, our leader cannot even add 13 plus 14 together. And he's in charge of the budget and the country. Is this why everything is screwed right now? Is this why Canada is broken? Is it because our prime minister has a learning disability? He can't even add up numbers? I don't know. It's probably a lot of factors. But that certainly has to play into it. Like, let's just roll Justin Trudeau's clip on China here. Level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. Um... He admires China. He's clearly not the brightest. He admires China. Let's find out. Let's let's watch this clip here. Because their you know, basic dictatorship is allowing them uh, to actually turn their economy around on a dime and say, we need to go green as fast as we need to start. Turn their economy around on a dime. Justin, what the hell are you doing? You've uh, turned our economy around, yeah, into the ground. You're literally destroying my stock portfolios in the toilet. My groceries are way more expensive. My, my, this, my, the money in my savings account is being inflated right now and losing value. You've destroyed everything for us. You've literally destroyed everything. But let's go. Let's go. Let's keep going with this clip. I'm just going to lose it. You know, investing in solar. I mean, there is a flexibility that I know Stephen Harper must dream about of having a dictatorship. That he oh, Stephen Harper wants the dictatorship. That's really ironic considering, you know, the last seven years and especially the last 12 months. Truly ironic. No, I would say since the start of COVID. Yeah, that dictatorship. You do everything you wanted. Uh, that I find quite interesting. You know, this is what Justin Trudeau admires, everyone. Watch this. Look, this is China, right? China right now, they're building concentration camps for COVID. So if you get COVID, you got to go to one of their camps. To go quarantine in one of these cities. Is it, do you admire this? The people that are watching? This is in Guangzhou, China. There are hundreds of these being built right now for the record. So those are the uh, COVID concentration camps in, uh, in China. But even the Chinese people have had enough of this, Justin. I know you admire this, but the Chinese people, the who you would call freedomers, are these people freedom or are they freedom? You tell me, because they're fighting back against what you admire, Justin. Look at that. Just absolutely revolting against the CCP. That's got to break Justin's heart. Especially when Justin had to come out on a press conference and, uh, you know, stand with the protesters. But he couldn't even stand with his own countrymen. Justin Trudeau is an embarrassment. An absolute embarrassment. He spent this year embarrassing us time and time and time again. Like, just this, this clip here with uh, Zelensky on the phone. Just like, look, look, listen to his dumb accent. Prime Minister Trudeau, Prime Minister Sunak, President Zelensky, please go ahead, you're online. Hello, Vladimir. It's Rishi and Justin. Hello, Volodymyr. Not everything's a drama class, Justin. Why do you talk like that? You sound stupid. You're making a fool out of us. You're always making a fool out of us. Like when you were in at the, the Queen's funeral there in London, you were making a fool of us. I think we all remember this. Are you ever going to stop embarrassing us, Justin? Are you going to stop destroying Canada? Can you just resign? Can you, you've had seven good years. You're clearly not good at this job. You're clearly not very smart. Please resign. Canadians are begging you. I'm begging you. Resign. See you at the next video.